Okay, so um, today we are going to do a video on how to create some simple things in Minecraft if you do not know already how to make them. We will be exploring stuff such as the p simple piston door 2x2 as well as a simple TNT cannon that will be good and others. Okay, so here we have it, the 2x2 two two piston door. This is a very, very, very simple design. You will need four sticky pistons, a block, uh, some blocks of your choice, um, two buttons, a redstone torch, and then uh, redstone lines across here. How it basically works is that you do that, and, you, yeah. <laughs> and then you come through here, like that. You can enhance it by adding repeaters. Repeaters? There, there we go. That you can then swap out instead to add a delay, making it, I guess, a little bit uh, better. So, for example, now it has a delay. All right. Okay. So here we have the slime block machine. This is extremely simple. How it works is that there's two slime blocks, an observer facing, facing to the piston with the little face looking like the thing facing out um, and this repeated on the other side except opposite then how it works is that you just do something like here and then it goes okay. so this is the super smelter it is a relatively simple design and it is very very much expandable you basically have two of these uh, hot mine carts with the, that have chests on them, but remember to leave a two space in between all of these, or else the hoppers on the end will get more than the hoppers in the middle. So, how it works is you basically just turn on one lever on the side, and these are stay on permanently. Alright, that goes like that. And you can just turn them off like that. You see, I had some coal in there from before, but it works pretty well. And then this is the collection system. Does it moderately quickly? Not that fast, but yeah. Let me just see what's, what's happening in between there. Alright. Yeah, so that's how it works. It's a pretty nice super smelter, if you ask me. Alright. Here we have the basic, extremely basic redstone trap. Because I know, and I have a friend who's awful at redstone, and sometimes I like playing with them with the, with traps and everything. So how this works is, it's very, very simple. All you'll need is some TNT as much as you want, some string, and then some of these tripwire hooks. They're relatively easy to craft up. How it works is that you need to have the TNT facing like... Um, at least one block there from the actual tripwire hook so that when your enemy steps through it then bam see that that's how it works okay here we have our tnt cannon um this this can shoot up to targets about um, 20 30 blocks away and it's a good short range tnt cannon and it's relatively simple requiring not a lot of tools um, I guess take a screenshot of this if you want and at multiple angles um, so how it works is that basically this goes this um, uh, dispenser goes then this uh, slime block pushes up um, pushing then the TNT up at two ticks, and then at three ticks immediately after, this hits it so that it goes boom, like that. Alright, let's see it in action. Bam. It's quite accurate, it will most likely always hit the same same place. Now this is Vince's favourite one. His, this is his favourite trap. The suicidal TNT house. I mean, it's quite effective. I mean, look at it, but it's only that you die in the process. And it's a little bit obvious. It's like a TNT house screaming it out there. So anyways, um, I guess thank you for watching. And um, we come up with videos weekly from a range of different producers. And uh, type in the comments section what was your favorite redstone contraption and what you would like to build. Thank you.